Doesn't it look pretty? Do you want to know what time it is? I got it working. Five Demon Army. Oh yeah, I'm managing to bot with five at once, and I'm doing an instruction video so you too can try this. It's not going to be easy, you're going to need to pause a lot, but it's going to be fun. As you can see, I'm even going to show you how to set up the launcher so you can log in multiple clients. I chose five because I'm using my main character plus four characters I've called Crow Demon 1, Crow Demon 2, Crow Demon 3, and Crow Demon 4. Luckily enough, they all log in and you can preview them by putting your mouse over the wheel here. I'm using three pieces of software to manage them, for which I will be putting the links up on the bottom of the video, which you're going to enjoy them. They're kind of there are some interesting web pages. Let me bring them up to the front here so you can see them. Two of them are on Immortal Bob. They are IB Control, Mag Tools, and Chaos Helper. Chaos Helper is your GUI. IB Control is the meta used in Verindi Tank, and Mag Tools is just a requirement for some of the text commands. Basically, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, so the next part is going to be quite complicated, but I'll just give you a quick preview of getting them all started. So, oh, there's one left to log in there. Oh, that's my main character. Um, I would suggest, first of all, that on getting them started, you're going to need at least 8 gig of RAM, because each one of these clients is going to take up about a gig. And first thing I do is open up this basic <laughs> oh I have to make sure I have the correct IBD control thing loaded action create fellow is it working oh yeah it's made the fellow you have created the fellow and now it's logging everybody in Well, it's logged one of them in. Hmm. Oh, that's because that's the only other one that I put the meta on. Come on, guys. Uh, doesn't always work as you expect it, but sometimes they don't realize they need to load the meta, so you need to go and check which meta they're loading. IBD control. Oh, and you should be loaded. Hmm, interesting. Come on guys, get in the fellow. Am I going to have to do these by hand? Hmm. Maybe number one can't see them all. There's number three. 
Okay, let's show you how some other stuff works. That doesn't always work. Follow. Okay. See, they need a little tweaking, and this is going to be something you're going to find. It doesn't work perfectly. So, three of them worked. And Doesn't it look pretty? So, here's a lesson. What I had failed to do was get all the foci I required. So, my bots, although working, were all sat there trying to cast item spells that they couldn't do. And that was the problem, and now I fixed it, so let's carry on with the demonstration. So, now they all follow. They all run after you, they're all going to wait a couple of seconds before doing it, and lag is going to mean they're going to look like they're running around doing stupid stuff. But, let's take them to a dungeon. Let's show you some of the more fun things you can do with them. Let's all recall to the lifestyle. Oh, let's all go to the Allegiance house, shall we? Isn't that cool? <laughs> and if you have a look here, you can see a little picture of each of them going to the Allegiance house. I might divide up the screen and put them all on, but it gets too complicated to use. So they'll all appear here in a couple of seconds. Let's run them all out to the middle. Hmm. Looks like follow wasn't working on them for a second there. So after you recall, you've got to hit follow again. Let's say hello to the Allegiance. Oops, that wasn't hello, was it? Mm hmm, that wasn't hello either. I can't see what's going on. That is embarrassing. Oh dear, I broke a UI one. That's going to annoy the hell out of me. So, now that we're all here, and you can see one of them spinning in circles, they tend to do that I've got the follow distance set a little bit close on most of them and they tend to do that kind of thing. So if I enable combat on them all, which is done from here, they'll start fighting. But let's take them somewhere fun. So to do that, navigation. Let's all go to... Ooh, I haven't ever tried any of these. This will be a first time, but... Let's all recall to the lifestone first. And let's go park them in a dungeon to get some XP. As you can see again, they all follow the commands. Essentially, the meta allows, you, allows the these buttons to tell them something. Use gateway is very handy. I'll show you why. Otherwise, they try to follow you, and if they don't happen to walk through the gateway, they won't make it there. It's one of the important things. Let me show you. So, first of all, basic. Once they all appear, there's no point having to go at them before. Follow. Of course, number three is late as normal. Cool, they're all there. So select select gateway, click use gateway. Otherwise you'll run through the gateway and they won't all follow you. And it's very, very, very annoying. And as you can see they're all set to follow the exact path I take. 
use gateway. Let's get them all into the facility hub. Yep, they're all here, they're all following me. Let's go get them into a Oh, wrong way. Let's do a Tusker dungeon. Being mages, either one of them's pretty easy, but the Tusker one's probably less corridors, corners, and things. Although they do, you can really forget about them. They do, apart from going through gateways, they do a really good job of just making sure they follow the exact route you're on. If they need to stop and buff or they get stuck in a corner, they'll usually work their way out. So. As you can see, we're all here. Now we've done that one recently, so let's go do the second one. Get close, use gateway. They'll all shuffle forward and walk through. Let's go. Let's go back to basic. Let's turn combat on on everybody. Go back to go back to recalls. Click on gateway. Use gateway. Now, combat's on. Verindi Tank will take care of combat. You don't need to manage them too badly. Um, I haven't really sorted out a system for monitoring their health other than just having this open, to be honest. Having the Fellowship open allows you to monitor their health. The best thing about them is... It is like... They're Verindi Tank. They do a very good job of keeping themselves alive and they do an extremely good job of murdering Tuskers as a group. And with the loot profile on on all of them as well. They'll pick up spells. So I'm going to do is I need to get them a load more magic spells and a load more folk iron stuff so I'm gonna go park them in a busy part of this dungeon as you can see there's just so much firepower coming from four of them acting as one character but it's incredible I wonder where he's going. <laughs> Doesn't it look pretty? But this is the um, part of the video where I go on about the software you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need to make sure that your, um, your decal is up to date and you have everything set up as per the GDLE setup. So go back to the page and make sure you've sorted all that out. You're going to need to make sure you have the multi-client stuff done, which is relatively easy. Every time you start up the launcher, it is going to tell you about this, and it's important that you do it. Here we go. Here are the instructions. You locate your any, and you put compute unique port true. Okay. You specified port. You can just leave that empty. Okay. Then you're going to need to go the websites which I'll have linked down below along with this one chaos helper this gives you a user interface which allows you to control your bots um, basically you're not going to be able to work it without this very well this is the key to making it work well or to struggle next thing you need is IB control this is the meta script which is going to do everything for you you're best off downloading 1.99 that one there works very well. And you're going to need mag tools. The link will be down below as well. You're going to need the mag tools DLL. Okay, you don't want the source code. We're not going to compile it ourselves. You just want the DLL. You're then going to have to, this is very important. So this is my Ashron's call cool documentation. Let's go straight to the place. You're going to need to make sure 
that your IBD, your Chaos Helper stuff goes in your IBD control. So the IBD control stuff goes in with the Chaos Helper in the same folder. I'll show you why, because Chaos Helper needs to load the profile from IBD control. I will show you how to do that when we get into game. For instance, in mine, in the Vinindy plugins, I actually had to move IBD control into Chaos Helper to get this to work properly. You probably want to do the same. Mag tools didn't make any difference. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to load a DLL in. I'm pretty sure you know how to do this. If you've got this far into using Astron's call cool that you're thinking of multi-botting, you should be fairly familiar with it. Right, where is my decal? So there's two things you need to do in decal. They're both very important. Decal never opens up all on its own. You always need to double click on it. Okay, in options, ensure that you have dual logon. Okay, very important. Leave it on default client. I haven't messed with any of these. Adjust bar for radar. I always like that one to be ticked. There you go. Nothing else needs doing. To in to in, to add a an agent, you do the update thing. Then you do browse. You go to the location like Chaos Helper, and then you install it. I don't want to install it a second time. As you can see, I have Chaos Helper. I have Go Arrow. I have all sorts of things, but I have May May Mag, Mag Tools and Chaos Helper. Okay, both of those need to be thing. The Meta you don't install here. Okay. The meta doesn't get installed here, as you can see from the uh, files. It, IBD control is just a meta. You load that inside the Rindy tools, and I'm going to show you through that now. Doesn't it look pretty? Be the really technical part of the video. I'm sorry about this. There's no easy way to say this. This isn't going to be a simple thing to show you. So. It's a bit unfortunate, it's just going to be the way it is. And if you want to do this, you're going to have to do this. This is the bit where we show you how to load the meta. So, you want to enable meta, you want to enable buffing, you want to enable looting, and you want to enable navigation, all turned on when you start this. In profiles, you're going to go to here, and you're going to enable meta action ibcontrol.met. You will be editing this file, and you will be editing it here in Verindi. Okay, you want to make sure that's loaded. You have to do that on every character. I would do it on your first character and set it up first. Now, metas are edited live, so everything you change in one of these fields immediately goes to all characters next time you load it. So just load your first one first of all. Now, the things you need to edit are here. This one, under characters, where it says edit here. Click on that, you need to put your character names in. They need to have accept art, server, car one, and then the, the, so you need to make sure that the character names are all in here. Spaces, underscores, whatever you've put in the character name needs to be in here as well. So I've got four characters in my team, so I've got four here. I will be able to add my main character here, General Crow, later when they're all level 50 and they'll all work together. But at the moment, General Crow is uh, a little bit higher than them. So, you know, he's like, um, I hate to say this, he's a much higher level anyway. For some reason, it's not IDing him. Welcome to the client. Anyway, so there you go. So that's the first one we need to edit. So all the character names in there that are going to be in your team. Next, you need to go further down and you need to edit the name of your fellowship and that is la, 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 la. it's here somewhere ah fellow name there you go there create fellow true fellow name the gang this means you can use um you can then use one of the buttons in the game to actually 
make your fellowship and it'll put in these characters here which you've stated that just makes things easier okay you can also edit some of these so it does these actions as well like you can always load the same UI <clears throat> so if I change that from never to always when they load up they'll load my UI one okay which is really cool now moving on down here do not edit anything past here unless you know what you're doing and you wish to edit the meta other than that that's basically it the other thing you're going to have to do which is really annoying is you're going to have to set the follow navigation now I'm going to open up devil 2 so you can see what's going to happen with that so for example in devil 2's meta there's an additional setting on route it isn't here at the moment you can't see anything can you in the meta there is a setting here which is navigation and there's one navigation point that navigation point has been saved in the meta and you do that by selecting your main character so I'll I'll show an example of that you select your main character in root so there we go crow devil one select him you set it to follow and you click add it's not going to work at the moment because I think the macros are off hmm follow huh, how weird it normally works it's probably not working but then you import that oops sorry you import that into the meta and that then sticks with them so you have to click run macro on all of them which oddly enough is pretty easy to do if you have that remote open And yep, they're all going to start basically buffing, aren't they? So when you've got all that set up and you've got them all like this, you need to then get them into a fellowship. Now if you've set that up correctly, it should do its job properly. So, one thing you need to do, right, is also you need to load IBD control. So you open Chaos Helper ibd control config load now you've got chaos helper up go into advanced chaos helper has now loaded stuff create follow create fellow and recruit i'm going to wait till they finish buffing otherwise it's not going to work in the meantime enjoy the display of them buffing they've got item creature and life now so well, obviously they always had war, but now they're all fully decked up. One of them is getting melee defense next level, and the others will get it by level 50. One or two of them have mana conversion spec, a couple of them don't. I've tried to sort of vary them a tiny bit just to make it so as they're slightly more survivable as a group. If they're equal carbon copies of each other, they'd all suffer from exactly the same weakness. Oh dear, it looks like it's crashed. Nope. It finally ID'd the healing kit. <laughs> okay, so now watch this. Let's create and recruit the fellowship. There we go. They have to be reasonably close range to do this. And there, they're all in now. They're all in the fellowship. So once you've got it set up, or you, the, those are the only steps you need to do. They're all going to tell you they've run on Platinum Scarabs for some reason, and Mana Scarabs, probably because they're not high enough level to use them yet. And that's that, basically. They're all ready to rock and roll. There isn't very much more you need to do. You've got to remember the three main points. You've got to, innate, you've got to load the meta. That'll remember it from then on. You've got to edit the meta to make sure you put all the character names in and the fellowship name. And then you've got to make sure that it's a good idea to leave the mini remote open. So next time when you load on Verindy Tank, you can just click on and they'll all come on. And now you can use this basic thing. You can turn you can turn combat on, 
on all of them and combat on. You can turn combat off on all of them. You can buff off on all of them. Or you can buff on on all of them. For example, if I turn combat on on all of them and go and show you, they will all now have combat on. They're all under control and it's all working perfectly. For troubleshooting, I'd say move this to the left and keep an eye on the text it says here. Typically, if one of them stops working, he's usually trying to cast a spell. Also, with mages in the early stages, I would say the, the worst stage is somewhere between level 4 to 5 magic when you you should be low you have to use level two to do stamina to mana when you move to level four life magic or level three life magic sometimes the mages can get themselves in Verindi tank can get themselves in a loop where they end up just going down to no stamina and no mana so that's something to watch out for other than that the biggest problem you're going to have running a group like this is basically lag you're causing your own little lag party basically your computer specs whilst recording, as you can see, my computer's having a little bit of a hard time with it. Oh, I haven't told them to follow yet. Now I have. Here they come. As you can see, the lag's meaning they're running around all over the place. Let's tell them all to go somewhere nice and fun, shall we? <laughs> that they're eventually going to catch up. <laughs> it's almost com com comedic, isn't it? Let's turn them all to go to the Allegiance house. At least I know the lag there won't be too bad. Give you an idea of what this is doing to my computer. 100% CPU. Most of that's going to be recording the video on top of this. Okay, so that is what it is, right? The uh, dormant AC clients in the background don't take up very much processing power. If you successfully completely cover them all, they won't take up any at all. Remember, after you do any recall, you have to tell them again to follow you. Because they will forget. And when you get them to get uh, level 3 item level, they'll also do this on recalls. Lifestone recall? Did anybody notice that one of them didn't do that? Hmm. Why didn't you do that? Let's find out. Um, <clears throat> she appeared stuck. That's going to happen to them occasionally. It's something to keep an eye on. As you can see, you must have um, sort of understood the basics now. Um, leave comments and questions down below. Um, it's all appreciated. And uh, please enjoy. I'm sorry about the amount of lag there is on the game today. It's absolutely <laughs> awful. Probably running too many copies of it. Okay. And thanks for watching. And there'll be a part two when I show you um, how to uh, finance them good places to take them to hunt and uh, what's the worst things that can happen to them actually the worst thing that can happen to them is when all four die and you're trying to gather together and recover all the bodies that's quite amusing <laughs> okay thanks for watching bye bye